Hello, my name is Cheryl. In this video, I'll show you how you can build a territory using classification data. Then I'll demonstrate how to add a territory to a credit rule and to a measurement rule. Classification data refers to how transaction data is classified and organized into different buckets. Classification data is organized in a tree structure with different categories, subcategories, and classifiers. The classification rule is a Boolean expression in which we match a field, such as a product ID, on a classifier record to a field on a transaction. Once the system finds a match, the transaction gets classified. Through the use of territories, credits for these transactions are allocated to the appropriate person who receives credit for the transaction. A territory is a named group of categories and classifiers that are used to filter input to credit and measurement rules. Although the name territory implies geographical location, territories can include categories and classifiers that are associated with products and customers, as well as postal codes and other custom classifier types. Territories are using credit rules to determine who gets credit for a transaction. Territories are also used in a measurement rule to determine how credits are aggregated. You define a territory using categories and classifiers. It's important to note, if you use the territory in a credit rule, then it is not required to use it again in a measurement rule since the transactions have already been filtered. Your company will determine whether to use the territory in a credit or measurement rule depending on the company's business logic and compensation structure. The following scenario illustrates the importance of flexible territories. To start, each of our three US-based sales reps has a simple territory. Every sale is associated with a type of product, such as licenses, services, or hardware. As our sales teams grow, we've decided to add a geographical element. For example, Cecilia is credited for sales of licenses in the Midwest region only. Gary is credited for services in the Pacific region. And Janet is credited for hardware sales in the Northeast region. Janet has now become proficient in selling services, and we've decided to award her sales of both hardware and services in the Northeast region. However, another sales rep is assigned specifically to New York, so we'll exclude sales in New York from Janet's territory. We'll start in with hardware. The geography hierarchy shows that the Northeast category in the U.S. includes many states including New York. Now I'll create a territory for hardware or services in the Northeast and not New York. From Compensation Elements, click Territories. Click the plus icon to create a new territory and accept the default effective dates. Enter a name for the territory. Select a business unit. The description is optional. I can enter the expression directly in the expression window or I can open the window editor. Since I have a couple of clauses in this territory, some of which are combined with and and some with or, it is best to separate these clauses by using grouping operators, which are parentheses. Open a parentheses. I'll reference hardware and services. Since hardware and services are categories from the hierarchy, I'll click references and select category from the dropdown. After the flashing cursor, I have the option to either start typing the name of the category or to enter an asterisk to give me a list. I'll begin to type hardware. As soon as I type part of it, it will give me the option I want. I'll click Category Hardware. Next, type OR. Next, I'll type CAT and select Reference Category from the dropdown. This time, I'll select Services. I'll type SER and select Category Services from the dropdown. I'll close this clause by closing the parentheses. Since it's going to be either Hardware or Services and in the Northeast, I'll put an AND operator. This time, I'll click the AND button. I'll reference a category. I'll start typing Northeast and select this category. To exclude New York, I'll use a classifier. Type AND, NOT. Type classifier and select Reference Classifier from the dropdown. Type NY and select it. 
I've specified from the product hierarchy I need hardware or services and in the Northeast and not New York. Click the check mark to save, click create to complete the expression. Now we can include this territory in Janet Wilson's compensation plan to ensure that she's credited for sales in her territory. I'll demonstrate how to add this territory we just created to a credit rule. Click Plans Wizard, select the plan, click on the pencil icon to edit the plan, Select Credit Rule and click the pencil icon to edit the rule. I'll click Next until I reach the Who Should Get the Credit screen. I'll enter the territory we just created. I'll type REF and select Reference Territory from the drop down. Then I'll type T Northeast. This tells the system to use this territory to allocate credits to the sales reps for the transactions filtered as part of the specific territory selected. Next, I'll add this territory to the measurement rule. Click the measurement rule, click edit, and click next. In the include credit that is part of the following territory, I'll enter the territory we just created. This will tell the system to only include credits for the transactions that match the specified territories or categories. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching.